this one is. I mean, <laughs> two Nesses, first of all, that's a lot to deal with. And then it's the, the one with Joker. The bats. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Thank so we have you. game one kicking off, and they've been playing this music. Shout outs to Gen 4, my favorite generation. The, the best generation. Come oh, on. Oh, yeah, come on now. Come on. So pretty solid opening here, too. Um, looks like they'll be taking blue side. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I'm quite surprised that the Nesses decided to duke it out first, because I feel like Ness on Ness is one of like the worst sort of brawls to go into, because they're both just they're both just projectile spamming. That's mm -hmm. when one person hits, and then the combo starts. But Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Dijon. And they're continuing. <laughs> Yeah, they're really? just fighting. Daijobu's playing incredibly safe, though, having hardly any percent on him. He has tons of Yoshi uh, knowledge, as we have a pan pwn to bear our best Yoshi out in Iowa. But as I say that, he immediately gets grabbed and taken up. As in South South, taking a ton of damage and continuing to remain in disadvantage basically the entire opening of his stock. Mm -hmm. Like, it's had it just now being able to come into his rescue, but now having himself in disadvantage. Yeah, Seth really has to watch it. He's literally on the edge against Arsene Joker, and that's probably the worst character to be alleged guarded with. Mm-hmm. But actually, both these characters, I think about it, are just terrible to be off stage against. <laughs> they just... <laughs> yeah. I died Jobu with an accidental up smash. <gasps> That's that the thing I didn't even play. think about. The Nesses know how Nesses recover, so they can give it in a second. He <laughs> he, he absorbed both the, um, the side... <laughs> um, PK... <laughs> I can't even English right now. <laughs> Let the me PK take you flash. off the stage and heal myself from my <laughs> troubles. <laughs> exactly. That was so good. And it's had it only done it one time at this point. So, uh, like, he had immediately picked up on the habit of what was going on, which makes sense, of course, how you just said, plays the character as well. Yoshi living to 180%. We were just talking about how Seth was being bullied, and now here he is being the only one who hasn't died. It looks like he's using the double jump to uh, the double jump armor to really negate a ton of the knockback that he should be taking here. You really have to, or else how are you going to be able to keep pushing on? You wouldn't think he's, he has to be the stock tank, actually, in this situation, but Arson Joker really trying to take it off, but Seth won't let him. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Good position for him to be in right now. Okay, okay. Finally, back here will take that stock. Very, very long-lasting hitbox actually working against Seth in this situation. Mm -hmm. No Arsene needed here. Mm -hmm. But here again, we see the Nesses are just aerial battling over and over again. And what? What just happened? He, just, he confirmed into a bread and butter up air kill, and it, and it just... It, it he just died. Confirmed, he just yeah. Died. I don't know if I should call the DI, and oh my gosh, Tata, the daring play there. And Tata almost gimped him with PK fire. Mm -hmm. He aimed it perfectly. The not-so-Swedish sniper. Absolute. And now we're seeing here, since Seth was able to successfully stock take as strong as he has been, uh, Blue Team is actually holding a very strong lead now. Mm -hmm. Daijobu really needs to hold on to the stock if they, if they want to have any hope. And they have to take it probably off of Patata if they really want this to work. Absolute. Absolutely. But here uh, we see them both being edge guarded. Daijobu gone. Edge guard situation for the Blue Team. Oh, no. Bounce is going to claim that stock. Not like this. <laughs> so. As we saw, I thought it was very convincingly in Red Team's favor at the beginning, and then Seth just decided, hey, I'm not going to die today, and yeah. just carried that through the rest of the match. 199 seems like, you know, the same as zero. <laughs> uh, so if good. you got a double jump that eats all your hits, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it was very, very good utilization of the tools he had available to continue to maintain the stock, too. Um, just like, as we noted now, the double jump. Hitting things like uh, Joker's Arson back air. And at living. 160, or 180, I mean, 186, and then, like, taking 13% and just soaking that baby up. Incredible, the stuff you can do with this character. Absolutely. Either way, the um, red team obviously was playing very well in the opening set, mm -hmm. uh, opening that game. Um, I think I would want to say to, to kind of zone down Seth, really to continue to put him, because uh, they had him in disadvantage for the majority of the stock, and they were able to take a Tata out while that situation was going on. But the moment that, like, they, it was basically like they stopped paying attention to Seth almost. That Seth was just kind of weaving. He, he had a point where he literally walked off a platform and casually nared. Casually. I think they're giving him too much respect, quite mm -hmm. honestly. They're letting Daijobu handle him too often where they should be trying to 2v1. Because if yes. this gets a grab at 150, Yoshi can't double jump that. You're just dead. That's mm -hmm. a, one of the best back in the game. Oh my god, that's a good point. That's a very good point. If they just get him in a situation where he has to shield and TM4 can get a grab, that's all you would really need. Yeah. I think they have to. Okay, good stuff, uh, good these stuff. These egg combos. Seth is not letting TM4 breathe. The sour Spot now taking advantage of the fact that he has him at disadvantage. What? <laughs> that trade is in TM4's favor. What, what in the world was that, that entire egg roll interaction? 
I don't know. All I'm telling you is Seth knows how to survive. Seth <laughs> is playing this exactly the way he needs to. He's being the stock tank that his team needs. <laughs> oh, my oh gosh. My Good stuff. Planting these eggs exceptionally well, too. Mm -hmm. He knows that the Nesses are just going to keep clanking in the air, and if he can just throw an egg to just stop the interaction, even, even if that hits a Tata, he can still jump in and get the punish on TM4 for where it doesn't matter. Absolutely. I like it. Has that, has that Tata off stage right now. Mm -hmm. You Good see chance. Dajobu right there had uh, Seth in his shield and just kind of respected it too much where he should just like run up grab do anything to push him out but he just respected it and you saw Seth came out and immediately got that kill from him. What? What? What was that supposed to be? What were you doing? He went down. He okay. Like he just fell. He TM4 gone. had eight years setting up his PK Thunder. Atata post him contact goes down to side magnet him. Like that was going yeah, to stop knew. him from coming Ness is back. No Ness. Like, hard. Dude, they speak another language, but the other ones know how to deal with it. I'm so confused by that. Here we actually see the red team holding a pretty decent lead, and commentators curse as I say it evens that out pretty decently well. But Daijobu, if he does not hold on, was he ignoring Seth when, this, when Seth was approaching? It looked like he, like Seth was literally in the same zone as TM4 was, but TM4 completely tunnel vision on Atada's off stage. I think, like I said, that's been a big problem. The Nesses are just focusing each other so hard that they're not giving Seth the attention that he clearly needs as he's holding this for way too long. Mm -hmm. That's a backward situation, and Daijobu tiptoes his way out of it. That's what, yeah, that's a stock. That's a stock. I think it's a good time to take the yup. Good time to All take right, the stock. All right, you got to kill Seth here. Yep. You have to take him out. If he's not, if you don't take him out, then he's just gonna keep holding it down. Because Daijobu is in back throw percent, or anything that Yoshi does. Mm -hmm. Anything meaningful for sure. Yup, there it is. There it, there is. it is. That's the second time we're taking the stock the with that this, this game. Oh my god! That's why you need to eliminate this man! Remove this! <laughs> what are you doing? We were just saying, you gotta get rid of Seth, who's gonna continue to, to I, hold I it. I knew it, like, you just can't. They're having too much confidence in the fact that they can both 1v1 each other character, but it, as Seth has proven, you need two to beat this one. Mm huh. Oh, offstage is yeah, not where you want to be right here. Like when I sing blew up, good oh my god, That upper would have connected. I think this is all but curtains for the red team here. That was a very, very good respect on Seth's part too. That's not done yet, yeah. It's not over yet. That's but over as now. As I say it, that's oh, he's not living, over he's the living. DI. Okay, good. Yep. Bold yep. of him to stay on the ledge even with the yo-yo right there in his face. Oh, oh my gosh! That grab. Oh, a quick grab too. Very quick. Very good option. Stuff. Like the back air. I'm not sure what I just saw, but it looked like a tad. I didn't see what he did to stall there. If Dajobu can kill either, oh, he wanted that kill so badly. But yeah, this that's might it. Be it. That's it. That's it. But that's that was it. beautiful too. That was beautiful too. I, lo I love it. Dajobu was maneuvering himself around these two very, very effectively. Oh, 100. percent He was dancing through it the way he needed to. It almost made it look like they didn't know what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They were stuck in shambles. But now I remember them saying that uh, top six was going to be uh, best, best of five. five. So, opting to go back to town and city, I kind of agree with that. I think they had a good advantage there towards the end. That unfortunate jab lock towards the end brought the demise of TM4 a little earlier than they want. They didn't even get a chance to 2v1 set the way they wanted to because he was yeah, out too fast. Absolutely. But that just goes to show how much opportunity capitalization this blue team is ready to apply. Absolutely. Oh, man. Understatement there. Understatement yeah. for sure. You are absolutely right about that, too. Blue team doing a very, very good job of applying different levels of pressure, but taking advantage of Red's aggression. 100%. They know that they're going to be pushing hard all for it. The second that they have an opening, they'll just expect it and counter it. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing it now. It's, uh, Seth, of course, playing support here. Dajobu as well is actually pushing back and just projectile spamming so that he doesn't have to be so, as involved as he was in previous games. So it's good to see them trying something a little different here, taking the back battle instead of going in forward. That was an interesting choice to pick a fire in that situation. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if Shadows was uh, trying to catch a defensive option from Dajobu. Either way, good respect on his end. Wondering now, Ooh. he catch him with that. Town and City being a very tall stage that I may have taken it like somewhere looks like Yoshi, but not here. It's a butt to the damage. Yeah, so, it does. It's a butt to the damage. Our sense half gone because of it. Yes, good high recovery. Good oh, high recovery. Just fell. He just what, he was just got way too far down. It what might have been a missed happening? air dodge, I didn't see, but he was just way too far down and he knew he was gone. Red team needs to take this lead. And oh run with gosh. it. Seth, Seth is uh, applying so, so much pressure with these dares too. 
So like like I said before, how they capitalized on the fact that the second one red team member was gone, that they killed him. Daijobu knew that when TM4 was down, they were both going to push him so hard, so he just held shield. Yep. He stayed safe because he knew that he was the target so hard really quickly. Oh, nice. Nice. Catching him, catching him, catching him and jump too. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I, went, oh. I I never know. I never know because like, I will, I will openly admit, seeing what confirms to get off of Yoshi there, not to, not as I thought I would say. No. Good back there oh, from TM4. I'll take it. Wow, surprisingly. All the way across the stage, but... Still in a decent spot. Daijobu at middling percent. TM4 is going to lose his stock there, though. Commentator's curse again. Oh, an accidental up smash is going to do a decent amount of percent to Daijobu. Leaving him held alone. So I think, after watching the most of the set this far, Red Team needs the 2v1. Yes. They kind of just don't. They yes. kind of just allow themselves and trust their teammate, which is all fine and good, but it's not working. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's not working. You're absolutely right. And it's like, it's difficult because in doubles, you're, you're generally looking for opportunities not to put, not to try to like pincer or sandwich each other. You're looking for opportunities to, to take advantage of different levels of advantage from, uh, from like, like what you said, when you knock them off stage, you often don't need to focus on the finesse. It takes them eight years to get back to stage, pincer the other player. Oh, 100%. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, he went for the early kill on Seth by going for that up but it left him perfectly open for a Ness back here, and that will take that stock. Absolutely. And see, there it is. Like, like Atata, when Atata's taking TM4 off stage, he doesn't usually go for yo-yo games. He's completely focusing on Daijobu the moment that it, that it comes out. What's making them such a great team right now is the fact that they aren't going for early kills. They're not, as, the, as that down smash takes him. But they're like waiting for the. Oh no! Oh, our oh! Set! <laughs> oh my gosh! Luckiest moments. Oh my gosh! Good stuff. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm liking this edge guard. It's so crisp. It's so crisp. So much immaculate play. Not everything needs to be a big, a big setup, but a big setup there with that up smash. That up smash saved him from the corner because he was stuck, and you don't want to be in right now. He has his double jump. Good oh, tech. The heck? Daijobu putting all of his effort in right now. This is possibly his tournament's or his winner's final or his winner's stock. I'm trying words, but that setup will take the game. 3-0 for Tenen Set. 3-0. Daizobu though. This man's clutch factor from seeing him in Iowa, he's been able to do stuff like that for days, but you can only go so far against a team with such immaculate teamwork as yes. Seven Tata. Yeah,